Hey folks, Carlos here with some Roll20 tips. Today we're going over layers and how to navigate them and move objects. Let's jump right in. Let's talk about what layers are on Roll20. There are four primary layers. The first being the map layer, which is intended to be static throughout the game. You could use this for a background map or even a scene layer to help set the tone for your narrative game. Most layers and all other layers will stack on top of this one. Next, we have the Objects and Tokens layer. This is intended for tokens that you or your players will want to manipulate throughout the game. Tokens and objects have special radial menus that give you the ability to change the properties of the layer, status markers, and other customizations. We won't cover all these today, but we will get into it in another video. After the Objects and Tokens layer, we have the GM Info layer. This layer is transparent to the Game Master and sits on top of the other two layers. Anything applied to this layer is only visible to those marked as a GM in the game. It's a great place to make small drawings and notes. It's also great for leaving NPC tokens or trap tokens that you want to be hidden from your players until you want them to interact with it. The final layer is the Dynamic Lighting layer which is only available to Plus and Pro subscribers. On this layer, you can draw lines and shapes in order to indicate walls or obstacles. You can create small tokens that emit a light source and create a small campfire. We will get more into dynamic lighting in another video. Navigating between layers. Using your mouse, you can navigate between the layers by clicking the location icon on the menu bar to the left. It will be the second icon on the list. From here, you can view and access all four of the layers we just talked about, minus the dynamic lighting, unless you have a Pro or Plus subscription. You can also use standard keyboard shortcuts to navigate between layers. To switch to the map layer, you can press Ctrl-M or Command-M if you're on a Mac. To move to the Objects and Tokens layer, you can press Ctrl-O or Command-O if you're on a Mac. To move to the GM layer, you can press Ctrl-K or Command-K if you're on a Mac. You can also navigate by using advanced keyboard shortcuts. These can be turned on by clicking the gear icon, which is the last icon, in the top right menu. From here, just click Use Advanced Keyboard Shortcuts to turn the feature on. Now you can use the advanced keyboard options to switch between layers by pressing M to get the map layer, O to get the objects and tokens layer, and K to get the GM layer. This makes switching on the keyboard a lot easier. Moving objects between layers. You can move an object to another layer by right-clicking on a map graphic or token, and then navigating to layer and selecting the layer you want to move to. If you've done this properly, you won't be able to select the object until you switch to the layer that it's on. You can also use advanced keyboard shortcuts to move objects. Doing this is super easy. Just left click on the graphic or token and use one of the following keyboard shortcuts. Remember, you need to have advanced keyboard shortcuts turned on. To move a selected object to the map layer, press L and M at the same time. To move a selected object to the tokens layer, Press L and O at the same time. To move a selected object to the GM layer, press L and K at the same time. To move a selected object to the dynamic lighting layer, press L and comma at the same time. Now, I got one last set of keyboard shortcuts that lets you move objects to other layers and change your view. To switch to the map layer and move any selected object to that layer, select your token and press Control shift m Command-Shift-M if you're on a Mac. To switch to the Objects and Tokens layer and move any selected object to that layer, select your token and press Control shift o or Command-Shift-O if you're on a Mac. Finally, to switch to the GM Info layer and move any selected object to that layer, select your token and press Control shift k or Command-Shift-K if you're on a Mac. 
Okay, that about covers it for moving objects and navigating between layers. My name's Carlos, and this has been Roll20 Tips.